Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel USA Immigration and Visa. Today I am going to discuss about how to prove your strong ties to your home country and your intent to return home after your trip to United States of America. So let's start the video. Whichever type of non-immigrant visa you are applying for, you will be expected to demonstrate that you do not have the intention to overstay your visa or illegally immigrate into the US using your visa. In order to make this assessment, the consular officer will want to check any document you might hold which can show that you have strong, stable ties to your home country which make it more likely that you will return home after your stay in USA. This could cover various aspects of your life such as family relation, community involvement, real estate or other financial interest such as an employment contract. Do not underestimate the importance of this assessment by the counselor officer. It is likely what will make or break your visa request to USA. Let's have a look at the different forms of evidence you should be trying to collect before applying for a non-immigrant US visa in order to reassure the visa officer and make it easier for them to approve your application. So first thing is which traveler are expected to prove their intent to leave the USA after their trip. You cannot prove what your intention is but you can demonstrate that it is your own interest to go back after your stay by showing that you have activities or business to attend to which outweigh the potential benefit you would get from trying to immigrate to USA. This is what is meant by demonstrating strong ties to your home country or country of residence. Family members which are dependent on you, a stable job, financial investment and membership of a community are all among the possible factors which are considered positive in this regard. Each case is unique and it is thus hard to provide a one-size-fits-all specific answer as to what might potentially constitute valid evidence of your intent to return. This applies as much to travelers applying for visitor visa, tourist or business or med medical as for those who wish to enter on a temporary work permit such as student visa or professional visa that is issued to media person, athletes or medics or other uh, categories. As long as the scope of a visa is not to obtain legal permanent resident status in the United States, this will apply to your case. Second important factor or point that we are going to discuss here is what should my evidence should contain. See this depends on what you are able to show to the visa officer. If you own a business or have a stable long-term job that usually will go a long way to satisfy the visa officer. You could provide contracts, pay slips, bank statements or a letter from your employer for example or your investment documents, tax filing or financial statements if you are an entrepreneur. Any real estate property you own in your home country can also help to strengthen your case. You could submit a purchase agreement, mortgage payment or property tax receipt or other investment documents as supporting evidence. Take a note here that these documents or the exam uh, I have uh, mentioned uh, above are just a few examples to show your case but it can uh, like you can carry a number of other documents as well. Aside from financial interest showing that you have an active and involved social and family life can also be a positive factor. Adding pictures of you and your family or anything showing membership in a community can contribute to your successful visa application. That's all in this video. I hope this will help you to prove 
the, your ties to your home country and your intent to return back from USA after your trip. Thank you for watching the video.